cop is trying to be about more than men in suits, but sometimes there is room for an exception. Leonardo DiCaprio has been campaigning for years with his own foundation, pressuring world leaders to do more on climate change. In Glasgow right now, he has a captive audience and plenty of interest in whatever he does. Sometimes it takes a bit of star quality in town to make the message more appealing. Former F1 champion Nico Rosberg is trying to pile on the pressure for global investment in electric cars, and he believes sport can lead the way. Formula One needs to be a role model in that sense, um, to then hopefully also inspire everybody who's following the sport and, and to think about it and say, hey, why don't I also do my little bit uh, and contribute to this movement? That's essentially a, a big, important goal, and, and it's possible. Celebrities find it easier to get the ear of presidents and prime ministers. Climate activists usually have to try other means to be heard. Extinction Rebellion today blockaded the entrance to the conference and closed a whole bridge. The most famous climate activist in the world has also been getting her message across away from COP. Greta Thunberg inspired a new generation of mostly young women who are here to be heard above the mostly men inside the conference rooms. Among their number is OEO, the first school striker in China. I think it's really important that Greta also passing the mic to the activists in the Global South because they are the people who are experiencing the suffering. In the last two years of the striking, my voices have shared to over millions of people in China and also in other countries. It gives the millions of people a hope that a young woman, she can do so much things and to get her voice heard. Lack of action inside COP is why so many alternative voices feel the need to step in now on the streets right outside. Peter Smith, News at 10, Glasgow.